All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome to The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing 2. Now, this game released on Xbox One as of July 1st, and I've actually played all three of the games on PC. So I decided let's take a quick look at it on Xbox to see how it feels. Um, the first three games I played were all on keyboard and mouse, so I wanted to see like if it was different from, let's say, the console using a controller, because this is an RPG game, so I don't think it'll be too complicated, but I just wanted to check it out. So you guys seem to like watching me play through the entire game uh, on PC, so with that said, the console version is here, and let's get started. Um, this is actually my first time playing it as well on here, so I know what to do, I just never made a character or anything. Um, it's really not fun when you play a level 30 character from the start, so let's start off with a normal level 1, I guess. Um, I assume you can import characters from the first Van Helsing game if you played it on console. Uh, so let's see. let's just start off with a new level 1. Um, all of these are back, and we'll just... I think I actually played the mechanic and the hunter but my hunter the hunter is still my favorite and of course we'll be playing it on hard difficulty so if you guys are going to enjoy this let me know i can always make more videos of it but this for the time being it'll just probably be a one part series uh if you want to watch the entire thing all three games are on my channel already but yeah let's get started um, is there a options menu real quick? My name is Van Helsing, and I'm a monster hunter. You could call it a twist of fate, that I came to Borgovia to help the monsters who once ruled this land. Although it took a while to reach my destination, at least the detour gave me an opportunity to explore the wilderness. At times, I was really grateful that I had my companion, Lady Katarina, at my side. I wouldn't want her to hear that, though. For a ghost, she can be remarkably vain and murderous. Borgovia is a fascinating land, at least from a hunter's perspective. Also, this is the only place where the ink, the dark material of creation, leaks through the cracks of the world. A long time ago, my father defeated Borgovia's immortal vampire lords and entrusted the land to a group of genius scientists. During our travels, we slowly began to suspect that it must have been a mistake. When we entered the dark city of Borgova, it became evident that the new age of enlightenment had only brought chaos and mayhem. I did what I had to do. I found my father's underground lair and gathered the members of the Resistance. The rebellious mortals and immortals fighting together. And how we fought. It was glorious. We battled impossible creatures. We repelled tides of inhuman invaders. And I wouldn't rest until I defeated the last mad scientist, Professor Fulmigati. He even had a proper doomsday automaton. Honestly. It was a hunter's dream come true. But as it turns out, winning the grand battle sometimes opens up a brand new adventure. All right, so that's pretty much a recap of the events in this game. Um, if you haven't watched the first one, I wouldn't say Go watch that one first. It is kind of connected, but not exactly. But if you just want to watch it in chronological order, I'll just leave a link in the description to all three games. So you can go binge watch it, I believe, if you wanted to watch everything from start to finish. Um, the entire game will take you... Explosion. It blew us straight into the tunnels, Van Helsing. Van Helsing? No, don't you die on me. I'm too young to haunt the same place for eternity. That's touching, Katarina. Don't give up. 
You have just defeated your first villain. You have so many things ahead of you. I'm not dying. I'm just stuck. What is this? Who are you? Stay back! Move aside. I'm warning you. You're powerless for the moment. Please move aside. <laughs> well, that was fun, Katarina. What's going on? Who is this? Is it a man? A troublesome intruder. He just appeared out of nowhere and... And humbly gave my assistance to Van Helsing, the great liberator of Borgova. Do I know you? Hurry up. This structure may collapse at any moment. How rude. What kind of savior does that? That's the least of our concerns. He's right. The building is crumbling. We must leave. Alright, so... As I mentioned earlier, if you want to watch this from chronological order, it'll probably take you about 20 hours for all three games. Let's check the options menu real quick. Um, enemy hit point. Oh, is that checked? Allied and highlight items. Right trigger the audio. Make my sure. backpack. My backpack is full. Terrain sounds. Video. I don't know why these default at 51, but YOLO, I guess. Alright, so let me get used to the controls real quick. Ooh. Ooh, the loot system is weird. Oh, left trigger to loot. That's awkward. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. Using potions left left on the D-pad when you need a heal. Got it. Oh god, RPGs on console feels so weird. Anything else to loot over here? I feel much better now. And finally, you look the part. All right, inventory. Let's see, can we put stuff on? So Katarina helps with the assistant. Uh, I think you can change it so she can be like it's passive, but give you some stat bonuses. Home. You know that, right? But it can't hurt when you're facing down a horde. So, the difference in difficulty from this game is pretty much the health of the enemies. And of course, they do more damage uh, the higher, but mostly um, the health is scaled. So, uh, if you're just playing it on the hardest difficulty, expect to be bashing on enemies for like a really long time. Otherwise, it's not super difficult. Switch between your melee and range by the left stick. Oh, I see a health bar. Katarina's health bar is at the top. Level up. Some healing potions would be nice. Alright, so physical condition. Mostly we're gonna be wanting body and dexterity. And then. Okay. 
Then you get like passives. I don't think we have any perks, but we'll get them eventually. I wish that bar wasn't there. Endless. Don't worry, later on you get better weapons and all that stuff, so you won't be sticking to like three damage. You made it out. Good. You will find an ink gate at the end of the next hallway. It will take you to your secret lair. Hold on. First, I want to know who you are. And perhaps you could explain why you are so helpful. I always find that suspicious in a masked creature. The mask hides deformations and the scars. The reminders of years of captivity in a lab. You are a test subject? Fulmigadi's favorite. Once a powerful being. Now only a husk of my former self. Until your heroic deeds brought chaos to the prison. And so I escaped. You're doing this out of gratitude? And revenge. Though the professor is dead, his heritage and his allies still remain. This tortured soul wants them to suffer. So you're proposing? I must take my leave. We'll talk more later. He did it again. And the way he talks, annoying. I'm sure he'll return. Let's go. Oh god, there's actually a lot of them. Treasure chest. So we got a skill point. Um, I don't exactly remember what I used. But I guess we'll start off with a new build. Your basic attack is pretty important. So it's definitely something you want to learn like really quickly. Inventory. Uh, where do you check your points? Two points available. Healing is generally good. And then as for auras, I don't think I really use too much of it. Um, but we do need an AoE ability. So lightning. We'll, we'll learn this. I think you can actually respec later on. Is it me, or has our secret lair changed quite a bit? Look, humans. They must have used the ink gate too. Now they're trapped here like us. Good. I'm hungry. Cool down. Oh. Okay, let's turn off the tutorials. You can tell like the enemy difficulty by uh, looking Your at the color of their health bar and name. Bringing bad news, but there could be problems. You don't say. 
This place has a powerful device, a marvel of weird science. It binds this patch of the ink into a loop that won't let anyone escape. You seem to be able to come and go as you please. I have a particularly strong connection to the ink. The one thing my captors weren't able to take away. Then get us out. Take us with you. That's beyond this one's powers. But a temporary portal could take you close to the device. Once you defeat its guardians, we can disable it. Why should I trust you? Trust is overrated. You can take that on trust. The portal will remain active until you leave this area. I don't trust that humble creature. I bet we could find a way out of this room on our own. Got one perk point. Let's see. Arcane healing. If you die a lot, that's good. Let's see. Extra page. We'll get this one for now. And three point or yeah, three points into passives. Sentinel. This is for Lady Katarina. Uh, you get to choose what she wants. I want her to be a ranged character, mostly to item collecting. And you can set what she picks up and what she doesn't, so it doesn't like buy or do random things. I just like her passives pretty much. That gives uh, Van Helsing some bonus points. Defense is definitely good, especially if you're playing on a higher difficulty. Alright. Controller rumbles, vibrate. Oh god, I missed. I don't have enough mana. Leveled up again, boys. Let's go. Um, attack speed. I want incorporal defense. Have a level to learn or not? Nah. I'll disable the device and you can go. Be ready. Ready for what? A storm is coming, Van Helsing. You may find that your work is far from done. When is it ever? Fulmigadi's army has withdrawn. Somebody is calling them back. They are still a chaotic mess, but they will regroup. Somebody wants to see you fall. Nothing new about that. An alliance is what you need. This tormented body is no longer able to fight. 
but my powers allow me to discover secrets. I can be your master spy, and you can let me have retribution. But if we're to be allies, at least tell me your name. A name? Yes. I used to have one. But that person was killed a long time ago. This wretched ruin of a man standing here is merely called Prisoner Seven. He is the most impolite, mysterious stranger ever. And that whole doom and gloom attitude, can you believe it? I don't know. You might be right. Something's up. I can feel it. Hmm. What else do we want? Flaming Spear. I don't think I've ever used this. I think we could... Let's try it. Passives. Um... Definitely you want to max out healing pretty quickly. That's important. It all seems so simple. Defeat the mad scientist and ride into the sunset. But sometimes victory leaves you buried under the ruins. I was lucky. Someone saved me. For a change, I'm not the only mysterious stranger in town. But weeks have passed, and the metropolis of weird science is still waiting for its own savior. Outlaws and escaped monsters roam the streets. The resistance is too weak, so someone else decided to take matters into his own hands. General Harker, the military genius of the city, came back from his exile. He gathered the rest of the disorganized army. His forces are a chaotic mess of weird machines so far but they're slowly clearing out the streets he might not have seen eye to eye with fulmigati but he regards me and the resistance as a threat to the city a coalition of monsters and troublemakers as a hunter i won't tolerate others hunting me i'm ready to fight i have an underground lair new soldiers and my new mysterious ally I'm quite used to unlikely companions, but Prisoner 7 is the most unusual so far. A former test subject of the mad scientists. Master of the ink. He's certainly helpful, but I don't know what to make of him. Now he can prove his worth. Parker's troops are on the move. They want to control the foundries so he can build more war machines. We will stop them in the sizzling, clanking heart of Borgova. Let the battle begin. Katarina, shouldn't you help me out with this? What? 
I have this strange feeling of deja vu. Van Helsing, General Harker has deployed the Grand Mortars. They are bombarding you with rift shells. Each shell opens an ink gate, so his soldiers have already got through your defenses. And why should we trust you, you enigmatic, faceless man? Your humble ally is here to help you, as he promised. You must clear this whole area before they run you down. How annoying is that? Sweet. All right, so all the things on the map, we pretty much do that. Oh, thank God for AOE. Oh, a civilian. Just kidding. One point available. Um, I don't think I'll die too much. So... Critical is generally good. Shall I give an inspirational speech again? Ports. Very good. 